Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Progress is Everything, a channel dedicated to your progress and development in various different fields. Today we're talking about how you can benefit from a falling stock market. How do you benefit from a falling stock market? How do you save your money, all the money that you've been working hard for, saving and investing? How do you avoid any of those problems of like, you know, having a massively down year or even wiping out gains that you've been building over like two or three years or even longer. Today we're talking through the five tips for what you can do to mitigate or even profit from a falling market. And we're gonna jump in right now. The first thing you can do, probably the easiest thing you can do, and depending on your current situation, which I don't know, um, you can choose to go into cash. That is one way of doing things. You can choose to go into cash. Do I suggest that? Probably not. If you think it's going to be a depression or something like that, some people do choose to go into cash in those circumstances. Typically, uh, a lot of good investors go into cash when the market is very, very hot. At the moment, it's, it's going lower. I'm filming this um, in early March 2020. It's going lower, so some investors choose to go into cash. Not now. Not Good investors don't go into cash at the moment. So you can choose to go in ca into cash, specifically maybe if you're a bit older and you're not working and you're not earning money um, and you want to mitigate some of those risks, you might want to consider liquidating some of your portfolio, maybe specifically the ones that have exposure at the moment. And the thing that's happening at the moment is COVID-19 coronavirus, this endemic at the moment, they think might be even turning into a global pandemic. I don't know where it will be when you're watching this video. Hopefully it hasn't taken over uh, too much and hopefully we've got a, an antidote, a cure to this virus. God hoping, God willing that we have this and that everybody is safe and that we haven't lost too many people. So you can go into cash, you can sell those stocks which have exposure to the particular downturn, in this case, the coronavirus or the COVID-19. I've sold some of my retail stocks because I consider them a risk. I think that their earnings will go down at short term. Number two, the second thing you can do in a falling stock market is you could choose to go into bonds. Now, I'm not a bonds expert. I don't understand bonds. I haven't invested in bonds. I don't have enough money really to invest in bonds. I consider the rate of return in a low interest environment, which we are currently in, in the UK and the US and in Europe, interest rates are low. So bonds are probably not the best place to put your money, but some people do put their money in bonds. And it might be if you have a large amount of assets and you want to get out of stocks, uh, you might want to consider bonds potentially. Guys, make sure to stick around until the end of the video because I've got bonus tips and other useful information. So, so try and stick around until the end of the video. The third thing you can do if you're a little bit more adventurous is you could try hedging. Now, how are you going to hedge? Well, I've got three different things that I'm going to be talking about. Three ways, and there are more than three ways, but I'm going to talk today about three ways that you can hedge in the event of a falling stock market. Number one, you can consider some of the more exotic, more challenging or more complicated financial instruments and they're called options. You can consider buying put options, which means when you're betting on stocks or indices going down. Now, these are complicated instruments, guys. If you do not understand them, learn more about them. Consider speaking to a sophisticated financial advisor or maybe even going with a fund who special, a hedge fund that specializes in, in these kinds of instruments. Number two, you can think about um, other asset classes. Maybe there are some asset classes out there. I know that some perform well in down markets. Gold and other precious metals tend to appreciate. That's something you could consider. Maybe property uh, or other, maybe you can buy business assets at a low cost at the moment, I'm not sure. The third way that you could hedge is you could buy safety stocks. These are stocks, they're called fair weather stocks. I'm not sure what pe how people describe them. But these are stocks that are always going to do well. Stocks like utility companies, electricity companies, things like that, which everyone always needs. Even if people spend less money at the supermarket, they still need to buy electricity. So you could consider some of those safer stocks. The fourth way to make your investments safe is you can diversify. You can diversify into different countries. We've already talked about different asset classes. You can diversify by choosing smarter fund managers or even going into cash, different currencies. There's lots of different ways that you can diversify. 
So the fifth tip is that you can try to think and profit from trends in every market, a bull market, you know, a market that goes up, or a bear market, a market that goes down. There are trends that you can profit from. When I was looking at the bear market of 2010, which was property related, I bought property stocks which proceeded to go up substantially. Now, if COVID-19 or coronavirus, this particular strain of coronavirus, continues and impacts world economies, then you could potentially look at stocks that might benefit from that. For example, on the short side, you could look at shorting retailers or leisure stocks, hotels, airlines, that kind of thing. Or you could buy companies like Rent to Kill, those companies that are be, you know, are doing the, you know, creating the sprays. Somebody else was talking about companies like P&G that have a lot of cleaning products and that kind of thing. People will be buying lots of cleaning products and soaps and things. So you could consider that as well. Now on to the bonus tip guys, so well done for sticking around for the bonus tip. What do professional investors do at this time? Well a lot of money managers wait until stocks that have gone down considerably and then they actually buy. So in a down market, if you're, you know, I guess if you're youngish and you're not looking to maybe risk too much by trying to use things like options and shorts, which is I'm, I'm trying to do and maybe Maybe I'm the fool in the room, and there, actually there was only me in the room, so it might be likely. But anyway, those things are risky, and you have risk of losing capital. Whereas, if you buy good companies at these lower prices, you might find, and nobody knows about the future, but you might find that they're, you, know, you can buy them at bargain prices, and you, know, you never know in two, five, ten years, or whatever, those prices might rebound substantially. So that's what a lot of professional investors also look to do, specifically if they have a more than one year time horizon. So what should you do? Well, you should, if I were in your shoes, I would probably think about and analyze, maybe even audit my own financial positions and my own financial portfolios, and then probably try to ascertain my risk. Now, if I could do that myself, I would try. I have done that for myself. And that's why I've rebalanced my portfolio by trying to move out of my long positions and switch to short positions and options and things like that. No, I'm not you, you need to do your own thing and if you can't audit your own portfolio, you can use a financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor, so definitely don't take my advice. I don't know about your current circumstances, but that's what I'd be doing. I'd be auditing my own portfolio, speaking with other people, trying to learn a bit more about what I could do. If you want to learn more about finance, about saving, about investing, about personal development and how you can, I guess, get better in a variety of ways, consider subscribing to my channel. That's what this channel, Progress Is Everything, is all about. And guys, I honestly believe that knowledge is power, especially the right kind of knowledge. I believe that everybody, even average people, can do above average things. And I believe that progress is everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you check out my other videos for tips, tricks and hacks as well as other pros and cons.